Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. My name is Heather. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Virgo for the month of December. It is a general reading, which means that the messages may or may not resonate. So be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings if you know those. Okay, so Virgo, let's see what is coming in for you for the month of December. Your energy, you are being represented by the Eight of Coins. Look at you, the worker bee working hard in the month of December. The first half of December, you have the Tower. I'm clarifying it with the Page of Wands. Okay. In the middle of the month, you have the Seven of Wands. And it is being clarified by the Nine of Cups. And at the end of the month, you have the Eight of Swords, and it is being clarified by the Moon. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So that is your overall energy for the month of December. Okay, let me just take a look at these. Okay, so Virgo, it looks like for the month of December, you're working very hard here. Um, you are mastering what it is, some, some kind of skill, talent, ability, you are mastering it, but you're also enjoying what it is that you do. Um, or And for some of you, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just getting the sense that for some of you, because you have the overall energy of the King of Swords, it's not even so much that you are enjoying your employment or what it is that you do, but you're looking for that and you're looking for change. For some of you, you're looking at change and you're making plans here. And the month of December is about strategizing, making plans. How can you improve um, your work life and do something that you're more proud of, more excited about? That's going to resonate for a few of you, but for others of you in the month of um, December, you are you are actually enjoying what it is you're doing. You're putting a lot of effort and hard work. And I feel like the reason for that is because you are looking to secure some kind of increased responsibility here in that role that you are in. So it's going to, that will apply for some of you. In <clears throat> the first half of the month or first part of the month, you do have the tower here. So this is representing some the, big upheaval or unexpected change coming in for you here. Um, for some of you, it's going to be a very unwanted, unexpected change. It's going to cause a lot of upheaval and turmoil in your life. But it is being it is being clarified here by the Page of Wands. So I feel like for some of you, um, this change in upheaval, if you have children, this could be relating to your, ch your child, and this would be a child that's extremely active, um, has a lot of drive, ambition, very, um, you know, is an extremely independent kind of personality here. But for those of you where this is not a child and representing a child that's around you or in your life, I feel like this tower opportunity is turning you into this page. Um, where if, for example, you're in a position in your career where you are the master, you are the go-to person, that something happens where you are now the novice and you are kind of almost beginning something new and be a little bit out of your element because it's going to make you do something completely brand new. But what you're going to find about this is it's going to, this opportunity, even though it's unexpected and unwanted because not everybody likes change, especially those earth signs, we don't like change. Um, you're going to find that there's this opportunity for you to do things that you're very passionate about and allow you to highlight skills that people didn't even know you had. And so this is the, the nice thing about it. But what you will find in the middle of the month is that you're really going to be having to defend your position here and stand your ground, not let other people come in and say, well, I've been doing this for 10 years now, so and this is how we've always done it. Sometimes change is a new thing, is a good thing. Sometimes changes and new ways of doing things are needed. Um, and so make sure you're standing your ground if you have a different opinion here, because what it's going to lead to is you having success, your wishes, your dreams coming true with this Knight of Nine of Cups energy. Um, this you you having this abundance coming in, this good health coming in, this success and recognition coming in because of that. This is the wish wishes come true card here. 
And that's what you're going to see by you standing your ground and sitting in your power. So even though you might find there's some changes in upheavals, you go from being the master to you know, being thrust into a new environment that you weren't quite expecting. And now you feel like the newbie. <laughs> You bring a lot to the table still. You have all that experience. You have this King of Swords energy experience here where you know, you know the right way. You know how to plan. You are an expert. Kings and queens sit in their power. They've mastered the energy of their suit. So remember that, that you are a master of your skills here. So you bring a lot to the table because I feel like you're going to have to like defend why it is you're making the decisions that you're making. You are going to find at the end of the month with the Eight of Swords, there's going to be times where you are feeling <clears throat> where um, you're, you have restrictions placed on you. Um, this, this almost isolation where people aren't getting you. I feel like this is about people not understanding you, not getting you here. And it's being clarified here with the moon. Um, so unseen problems coming in. But also, but this can also represent voluntary changes like you choosing to make changes um, and it's also about you trusting your intuition here so I think like the key message for you Virgo when you have experienced these times of feeling like you don't know what course of action to take listen to that intuition and trust that inner guidance here and you're going to find that more at the end of the month. And another thing too with the moon is make sure you're listening to your dreams or paying attention to your dreams because you could find that your subconscious is sending you messages in your dreams in that month of December, especially at towards the end. So I'm going to pull a Archangel Power Tarot card for you for final messages from Spirit. And you have the Eight of Michael that you can be free. Make a, make a courageous choice to change a situation in your life. I feel like that's what you're going to be doing because you might not be seeing things clearly at the moment, but once you make those changes, you will be. So there's the Eight of Michael. And I'm going to pull an Animal Speak Room for you, Virgo, for final messages from Spirit. And you've got the Dolphin New Hope. Okay, so I am going to read this because I do not have these memorized. It's just too much information. Um, so the Dolphin brings new hope. So, oh, excuse me. So it's new hope, new promise. So three of the most ancient and powerful creative forces have always been water, sound, and breath. In the dolphin, all three of these creative powers come together. When dolphin shows up, there will always be a dynamic increase in fertility and creativity within your life. This is a time of new promise. Dolphins are powerful communicators. Sound requires breath, and if you know how to combine sounds in words, prayers, chants, songs, etc. with your breath, you can reshape the waters of your life. This is what Dolphin teaches. Now is the time to pursue these methods in a new way to achieve what you desire. Experiment with techniques of sound and breath to call forth from the waters what you most need or desire now. The sea of life is pregnant with possibilities. Dolphin reminds you to focus on those possibilities and your own ability to be creative. This fertile pro time promises new growth and fulfillment of your needs. Nice message for you, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you're notified when the January readings come out. Enjoy the month, Virgo. Stay safe and take care.